Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, question number 21 to question number 30. This discussion. The standard unit of measuring temperature, confirmly, it is the international unit, Kelvin. When you are marking Kelvin, you will not be given any degree mark, just Kelvin. You have to write. Okay, so 21st one is the fourth answer. Question number 22. Uh, which one of the following is not an application of expansion of solids? I have selected the fourth answer. In the fourth answer, soldering of metals mean when you heat, metals are melting. If metals are melting, then we can't consider expansion there. That one thing I want to tell you. So melting one, we can't choose. When you take the third answer in the operation of temperature control switches, majorly we are using bimetallic strips there. So it is the bimetallic strips we are using there. So my batting strips, when you heat, they are bending due to expansion. So 22nd one, it is giving you the fourth answer because metals are melting during the soldering or it's a kind of welding. Question number 23. It's a question coming to you from the unit number 12 of grade 11. When you do electrolysis of acidulated water using carbon electrodes, okay, so what is happening there? Right? In that one, oxygen making process is an oxidation process. Hydrogen making process is a reduction process. So oxygen making process will take place in the anode. So that is the correct answer. So hydrogen making process will be taking place in the cathode reduction process. So that is not given here. You can check your unit number 12, electrolysis of acidulated water, then can come and come to a decision. Question number 24, if you consider, which one of the following depicts an endothermic reaction, heat absorbing reaction, not heat releasing reaction. So simply decomposition reactions are coming under endothermic. The dissolution of ammonium chloride in water, it is endothermic. Photosynthesis is endothermic. Certain endothermic reactions are there in the syllabus. The burning of papers, magnesium-like metals reacting with acid, hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid or some acid. And uh, reaction of, okay? Acids and bases, they are endothermic reactions. Sorry, reaction of acids and bases are exothermic reactions. Here, my children, this also can be considered as an endothermic reaction. Okay, it is also an endothermic reaction, but our syllabus limit is not much supporting it. But anyway, it is also an endothermic uh, reaction. Uh, better answer decomposition of lime stock. Okay, question number 25 is an, a question using a, a Q is equal to MC theta. But you know, M is how to write uh, Q is equal to MC theta. So actually, when you apply it, uh, Q is equal to mass. Mass should be in uh, gram. So kilogram. So it's given gram still. So you have to convert it to kilogram, that is 200 divided by 1000, into specific capacity 4200 into temperature change 8 Kelvin. This 1000, you can write it any place, the output will not change. If you write 200 into 4200 over 1000 into 8, same answer will come. Q is equal to 200 into 
4,200 into 8 over 1,000, same answer will come. So, 1,000 is a denominator. So, it can be written in any place, no problem. So, this is the idea behind that question. In that way, you can make a decision. It is the first answer. Okay. Question number 26. The instance where a couple of forces not in action, not in action. Okay. That is when playing a swing. In playing a swing, it is a moment of force occurring there, not uh, a pair of forces. Uh, there's no rotational movement there. Okay. Two forces making a rotational movement. That is not there. Others are okay. Right? And question number 27. <clears throat> you, I'll tell you how I th thought of this question. Question I was reading first. Uh, A. With the increase of area of cross section of a conductor, resistance decreases. Statement wrong. Statement wrong. When area increases, <clears throat> resistance will decrease. If A is wrong, now look at the other answers. In the first one, A is there. In the second one, A is there. In the fourth one, is also A is there. So A is, they are mean first question answer, second answer, fourth answer, you have to disqualify. Then automatically what the answer comes, it is a B and C are correct. So B, with the increase of the length, the conductor, resistance increases. That's true. And the third thing, according to the material making the conductor, resistance will change. It's also true. So I have selected the third answer. Coming to the question number uh, 28. 28 asks you, the diagram is given to you, everything is okay. There are three things only given to you as detail. There's a wood block, its weight is 25 Newton. It is moved with a horizontal force of 50 Newton to a distance of 1.5 meter. In this case, it is moving horizontally. If it is moving horizontally, that is happening with the contribution of 15 Newton force. Suppose if the object is lifted, think like this. Now they say it is lifted by 1.5 meter. Now you have, then you have to use 25 Newton as the force. If it is moving horizontally, you have to use that 15 Newton as the force. Here the question is asking the energy. My children, you have to find the work done. The work done is the energy. The so work done, what is the formula? Uh, force into displacement. So force is 15 Newton. Displacement is 1.5 meter. So 15 into 1.5 joules. Okay. Question number 29. Human reproduction question. 101 MCQ can come in that way. In that one, the simplest answer regarding the menstrual cycle it is decrease of progesterone hormone level will make, okay, sorry, decrease of in the answers given. Sorry for that. Uh, increase of the level of estrogen will start the development of uterine wall. I selected that. You can check your uh, textbook for that. And finally, question number 30 is regarding ATP. All the three statements given here regarding ATP are correct. So, we are choosing the fourth answer. So that is the discussion of uh, 30 MCQs, 21st to 30. Inshallah, in the last video, I will explain you regarding the questions from 31 to 40. Okay? Jazakallah khair.